This is your math gal, Julie Harland. Please visit my website at yourmathgal.com where all of my videos are organized by topic. In this video, we're going to solve this word problem using a system of equations. Juan has 80 stamps. Some are 29 cent stamps and some are 45 cent stamps. The total value of all the stamps is $27.04. How many of each type of stamp does he have? Now this lends itself to a system of equations because there's two things we're looking for. We're looking for the number of 45 cent stamps and the number of 29 cent stamps. So here's the word problem again. And I can put this information in a chart or I could write it somewhere else. I'm going to put this information in a chart. I find it easier to do it this way. So this is the kind of stamp I have. I have 29 cent stamps and I have 45 uh, cent stamps. And so the unit value of each stamp is simply, if I want to do everything in terms of cents, 29 cents per stamp or 45 cents per stamp. Now if you want to do things in dollars and cents, then I would put 0.29 and 0.45. When I'm working with many, I usually do everything in cents to avoid decimals, but that's a personal preference. Now what we're looking for is the number of stamps we have. In other words, how many stamps we have. We're not talking about the value, just total, do I have 10 29 cent stamps or do I have 30, etc. And I don't know how many I have of either, so I'm going to let one be x and one be y. And over here I'm going to put the total value of each type of stamp. So each stamp is worth 29 cents. So if you have x 29 cent stamps, you multiply those together. So the total value of the 29 cent stamps is 29x and the total value, and again I'm working in cents, not dollars, of the 45 cent stamps is 45 times y. Same reasoning. Alright, now if we look back at the problem, we're told that we have 80 stamps total. So for my number of stamps here, I've got x 29 stamp, cent stamps, y 45 cent stamps and that it adds up to a total of 80 stamps. So if I want I could put a column here for my totals. Now it doesn't make sense to say the total for the unit value. You can't mix those values up, right? But the total value of the stamps, and here we have to be very careful, is $27.04. Now you can't write that as 27.04 because we're doing everything in cents. So we do need to write that as 2704. We have to be consistent. If our unit value here is in cents, then our unit value for our, um, then our value in dollars has to be written in cents also, 2704 cents. This gives us two equations. One equation is x plus y is 80. That's from this first um, column of the number of stamps and the second column over here is that we have 29x plus 45y equals 2704. So those are our two equations. Had you been doing this problem using cents, the difference is you would have a decimal place here, 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 and here. Your second equation is the only one that would be different. Your first equation is still x plus y equals 80, but we would have 29 cents times x, 45 cents times y equals 2704, so you'd be doing the problem with decimal points. Like I said, I try to avoid that if I can. Just one less thing to worry about, so I'm going to take off those decimal points. So now it's up to you. Do you want to use um, the addition elimination method or would you prefer to use the substitution method? I think I'm going to go ahead and do the elimination method. So I'm going to take my top equation right here and I'm going to multiply it by negative 29 so that when I add the x terms I'll get a 0. So if I multiplied that 
top equation by negative 29, and remember that means you've got to multiply each term on both sides of the equation by negative 29. This is what it would look like. Let's go down a little. So we would have negative 29 times x plus y, and we're also doing negative 29. Uh, let's see, I like to just put the whole equation equals 80. is going to give me this new equation, negative 29x minus 29y. And then I have to do negative 29 times 80, which is negative 2320. And then I want to add this to this other equation, 29x plus 45y equals 2704. So my question is, do you want to put that up on top of this or below it? Since 45 is bigger than negative 29, I'm going to write that above this. So I'm going to take this equation here and write it above 29x. I'm just copying it, plus the 45y equals 2704. And now when I add, these x's cancel, so I have 45 minus 29, which is 16y equals, and then I have to do this subtraction over here, which is 384, and divide both sides by 16. and that will give you 24. I'm using a calculator. If you're not able to use a calculator, you're just going to have to get out some scratch paper and do that arithmetic. Now, what did the Y stand for? Well, if we look up here, we see the Y was the number of the 45 cent stamps. Okay, so now we know how many 45 cent stamps we have if we did this correctly. But we also have to figure out how many 29 cent stamps there are. So I'm going to just write the number of um, 29 cent stamps. That's what we're going to look for in a minute, but we just figured out the number of the 45 cent stamps, right? That was the Y, we just came out, that's 24. So we have 24 45 cent stamps. Now we know there was a total of 80 stamps, so how would we figure out how many 29 cent stamps there are? We would do 80 minus 24, and I think that's 56. So we have 56 29 cent stamps. Now we definitely want to make sure that if we had 56 29 cent stamps and 24 45 cent stamps, that total value really is $27.04. Remember, that's what the original problem says. So that's our last thing to do is to check. So I'm hoping this is the right answer, but I don't take it for granted. It's so easy to make mistakes, so let's check. Okay, so if I have 56 29 cent stamps, Right? Does this make sense? We're going to check how much money that is. So we have to do 56 times 0.29, and that's $16.24. It's really many. You know, if you want, you could put dollar sign there. And then we've got 24 of the 45 cent stamps. You could do this in cents instead of dollars. I'm doing it in dollars. So we have 24 times 45, and it's really times 0.45, right? Times 0.45, and that's $10.80. And then we want to add those two numbers together. And I got $27.04. And that is what we were given at the beginning, right? Look up here. So here's the problem. Do we have 80, cent, 80 stamps? Yes, because we've got 56 stamps and 24 st stamps. Is that value going to be 2704? 
So here we go. You can see we've got 80, cent, 80 stamps because 56 and 24 is 80 and we can see that that checked out and came out to $27.04. So the number of 29 cent stamps is there are 56 of those and there are 24 of the 45 cent stamps. This is your math gal Julie Harland. Please visit my website at yourmathgal.com where all of my videos are organized by topic.